Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to reorganize my 80s OT8 collection. So right now I have it in this binder. Um, so it's like a mini binder and I usually like put them all together like this. And for a really long time, I really liked it this way because I like how there's like no empty spaces and it's like all eight together. But like recently, as I was showing this collection to one of my friends, as I was like flipping through to show her, basically she was like, oh, is that an empty page? Which like, to me, it doesn't look like an empty page. But then after she said that, I was like, wait, I guess it does kind of look like an empty page. And so, I also don't like covering up the backs because I like seeing all of the backs of them. Um, so I would never like double it, I guess. So because of that, basically, I think I'm going to move this into a nine pocket big binder because of like the fact that these pages kind of look, I guess, awkward as empty pages. Um, but not only that, like my binder is already like starting to get kind of full and i know for the next comeback i'm going to be collecting a lot more ot8 sets so because of that and also like the um empty page kind of thing i was like okay maybe it's time i finally just get a big binder for my ot8 sets but i'm not a hundred percent sure on it yet so basically in this video we're going to move all of this into a nine pocket binder and then at the end i'll see like if i like it or not but yeah i kind of got what she was saying by the empty looking pages so yeah hopefully in the new binder it's not gonna have that like awkward feel i guess first thing i need to do is take out all of these photo cards from in here which oh my gosh i'm sure it's gonna be a pretty fat stack and then after that i'll get my big binder and start putting stuff away yeah i'm just gonna time lapse the part of me taking everything out and like watch some tv or something and then i'll get like my big binder and we can start like putting stuff in Okay, so here's like my big binder. It's kind of like really old. I got it from my brother. I didn't want to like buy like a nice new binder and like in case I end up not liking the nine pocket spreads. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just going to use this binder. But if I end up liking everything after this, I'm probably going to move all of it into a um, like a new binder. Like I'll go out and buy a new one. Um, but yeah, so this is what we have for now. I already put in some nine pocket pages. I have a couple stacks that I kind of sectioned everything out in. So this stack is like fan sign photo cards and then also like the fan kit photo card. Then I have this stack which is like all these like IDs and stuff. And then I have these two sets of the sub case stuff. And I think I've decided what I want to do is first put all like fan sign stuff in the front and then put all sub case stuff in the back. I have no idea what to do with the IDs right now because I literally have no idea how I want to like fit them into a nine pocket spread. But yeah, I figured let's first just put, start putting stuff in and then we'll figure it out. So I think I'm just like literally just going to go in order of like what these are, um, like the ones in my hand. I think that this is one of the first OT8 sets I ever had from a fan sign like set before I only had like the subcase stuff. And I remember like buying this on Neokyo and then being like, I have to keep like every single one of these. They're so cute. Because before I would like buy a lot of OT8 sets and then just keep the ones I thought that were like cute. And then trade or sell off the rest but this was one of the ones where i was like man i gotta keep them all they're all so cute especially this jungle like oh my gosh i also have no idea what i'm gonna put in the middle but i just figured like this is the best way to have like eight people um so i'm just gonna leave it this way for now so far i think i'm liking it but yeah we'll see 
Okay, so the next one I have are these snow filter photo cards. And actually, when I got this set originally, I really wasn't going to keep all of them. I, like, actually bought them from the actual website, and they were, like, super expensive because I got them, like, with the albums and stuff. And then I wasn't able to sell off, like, the albums and all the photo cards, so this set was, like, really expensive. But, like, even though it was so expensive, I was just, like... I have to keep all of them because they're snow filter PCs and I feel like it's so hard to get rid of snow filter photo cards. Like they're so freaking cute. And like all of them together, such a vibe. But yeah, super cute. I didn't even keep the K-pop store ones, which I think were cuter. I didn't even keep OTA of those, but like when I saw this, I was like, they're snow filter PCs. I like have to. And then I know this is really controversial, but I actually really like the backs of these. I didn't know everybody hated them. I I don't know, I like when they do stuff that's like a little bit different. It just makes it a little bit more exciting than seeing the same epilogue um, logo a hundred times. Okay, so the next photo card set I have are these bunny photo cards. They're super cute. I really feel like KQ knows what they're doing when it comes to these photo cards. Like, I have this theory that like they have people at the company that like keep track of like photo card collecting trends. And like everyone knows that stuffed animal photo cards always go for like crazy amounts of money so i feel like that's kind of what happened here i could be wrong because maybe if that were true they would have like shown the previews before like when you were like actually allowed to like purchase it because they i think we found out what these look like like way after the buying period was over but i don't know they're just so cute though like as soon as i got this set like i didn't even question it i was like i'm keeping all eight of these photo cards oh my god imagine if there was a photo card of just the stuffed animal and then i could put it in the middle that'd be so funny okay so next i have this ot8 set um from the photo book honestly i was like really nervous when i first got these photo cards because like you know how you had to like pop them out and i couldn't decide between like popping them out or like cutting them because i saw a lot of like other people like cut them out and stuff and, like, you could see more of the picture when you, like, cut it out. But I don't know why. Like, I just got, like, too nervous to do that. Which is kind of funny because I know a lot of people, like, cut it out instead of popping it out because they were too nervous to pop it out. But I was the opposite because I was like, what if I cut it wrong? And then, like, I'm going to get all stressed out. So, yeah, for me, it was actually easier just to, like, pop them out. But, yeah, I still think that they're, like, really cute, like, all popped out and stuff. Actually, this is probably one of my favorite OT8 sets. And that's probably because of the outdoors vibes. And then KQ was, like, super nice for once and gave us these, like, hollow photo cards, which, like, oh, my gosh, one of the literal most pretty sets ever. Like, look at Sunghwa with the flower. Like, stop. And, like, Hongjun in the sun. Everything. Literally everything. I feel like San has like three poses and he always chooses between those three and this is one of them. Okay, super cute. Love these two OT sets. Okay, next I have the LA travel package and this set was like the first time I ever like applied for MakeStar to try to like win something. So I really wasn't like expecting much out of it, but I actually ended up winning and I don't really know what I'm going to do with... Oh, wait! I just realized I can put like the little Polaroid over here because I want it from this set. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. But um, yeah, I was like really surprised when I won. And then like the reason why I kept like the whole set was also because I was like, this set is probably like good luck for me. Like I'm going to bring this set out every time I apply for something on MakeStar now just to like manifest me winning. But like since then, I definitely have applied for other stuff and I have not gotten it yet. But like I haven't used this set to manifest those yet. So maybe from now on, I'll try to like use the set to manifest. Okay, next I have, is this the last one? Yeah, okay, this is my last OT8 set before like sub K and everything. So yeah, I'm just gonna put that like over here at the end. Honestly, when I first heard about the fan kit like laundry service theme, I was like really skeptical because I was like, wait, what? A laundry service? Like what are these photo cards gonna look like? I literally thought the photo cards would be like of them like doing laundry or something. But no, these are actually like super pretty. And like this one, oh my god, 100% my favorite. Like the way you can see the entire background, I absolutely adore this. And like Ooyoung looks so cute. Oh my gosh, yeah. And then I have my fan kit like ID thing or whatever. I'm gonna put it in the middle and I'll put it in the sleeve so that you can't like see my name on the back and stuff. Actually, is that ugly? I kind of feel like that's kind of ugly. Guys, let me know what you think. Like, should I just like not do this? I don't know. I have mixed feelings about that. Okay, next let's do all the sub case stuff. Ooh, I wonder if I have enough pages here. I don't know if I should do epilogue or fever first. Oh wait, this isn't even epilogue. Okay, I don't know if I should do fever part three or fever part two first. I think I'm gonna do fever part three first because it's cuter. Let's do first the selfie pcs and then we can do the polaroids i think i want to put the eternal sunshine one first i think it's really cute also these photo cards literally look like all the other pobs that came out in this era i remember when i first saw them i was like damn 
giving us nothing i don't know why i was just like expecting them to be like really crazy and like really different i don't know maybe they did have previews out and i just like failed to look at them but when i saw them i was like oh we're getting these again they look a lot like the apple music ones actually i think my favorites are these three right here i just i loved all the bucket hat ones and then i think he's doing like a really cute pose here and hongjung fluffy hat like never fails Okay, and then next, I'm not sure if I want to do, like, the Eternal Sunshine Polaroids next, or should I do the Selfie PCs next? Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to do the Selfie PCs, and if anything, these are, like, super easy to move around. Oh my god, guys, I, like, totally remember when Deja Vu came out, because I remember it was, like, my birthday week when it came out, and literally, it came out, like, either, I think it was, like, a few days before or a few days after sticker and like at that time all of my moots on like instagram and twitter and stuff were all like nct and so everyone was talking about sticker and i remember just being like wait guys but deja vu though and then because after that i started like collecting ats a lot more and then i ended up getting more like ats moots and stuff but i just remember everyone was like freaking out over sticker and my head was like all deja vu Actually, now that I think about it, I really do want to put, like, the Eternal Sunshine Polaroids next because then it says, like, Eternal Sunshine here and then, like, I would like it to be next to these. So I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so now we have all the Eternal Sunshine Polaroids. Did you guys vote for Eternal Sunshine or did you guys vote for Deja Vu when it came out? I, like, definitely voted for Deja Vu because it was, like, totally my vibe and I thought, like, the song was, like, really good. And Eternal Sunshine is also, like, obviously very cute and stuff like that. But, like, Deja Vu was, like, like it was, like, the it song. And I was, like, oh, my gosh. Like, I knew it was going to be a banger. And then also that video of, like, Jesse reacting to, like, San's part. I always rewatch it because I think it's so cute how San goes oh like that man they all love jesse so much oh my gosh i really hope for the new comeback they do like another interview with jesse i wonder has anyone gone on jesse more than once no they definitely have i think solar did right but yeah so 100 percent. like i really hope they get to go on the jesse show again and like i feel like a lot of people actually discovered ats through jesse show i feel like a lot of people get discovered from jesse show actually because like like i liked a txt's music but i didn't know like the members and stuff until i watched jesse's show of them because like it was so funny and that's like what kind of started me getting more into them okay next i have um these subcase sets which unfortunately they're ot7 and not ot8 so i think i'm gonna do like the two three and two one two three four five six seven okay yeah that works i don't know which one to start off with first maybe let's do this one because there's like a lot of blue in it and like there's blue over here i don't know kind of makes sense to me let's do that oh my god so when these sets came out like i literally was like i was like not an 80s collector i think i had like literally three 80s photo cards that i had bought from someone for like two dollars each i didn't know like what merch was or like i didn't really understand photo cards that weren't from albums so i remember i went to a cup sleeve event and at the cup sleeve event like there was this person that was like selling these and they were selling them for like five dollars each like for each one of these but like if you bought it from sub k like it was only like a dollar each and so i felt oh wait and so I felt like really stupid when I like found out that they're only worth like a dollar each because I was like, wait, did I get scammed? But it's fine. Like it's not that big of a deal, but like it definitely taught me a lesson like to make sure I know what prices are before I just like sporadically buy things. And so yeah, after that, I went like on a whole mission to like finish all of these sets because like I think I only bought this Hongjung and this one from like the cup sleeve event and so i had like a bunch more that i had to like find and so i remember for like literally two weeks it was like my life's goal to like finish this set and i didn't even like buy it like all from one person i think i literally bought like it was like the most i ever bought from someone was i think like two or three so i had to like go like way out of my way to like find all these like people and then like people were like definitely member pricing also so i was like trying to like get them all for like the same price so it was like a whole thing, but like it was definitely one of the first like, I guess, collections or sets that I like actually like went out of my way to complete and finish. And I remember when I finished, I was like so satisfied. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Wait, no, actually, I totally lied. I definitely bought like, I remember, I think it was like six PCs of these from like one person because I remember being so shocked that they fit all six of the photo cards in one top loader, like one regular top loader. I was like, what the heck? Like they must have really shoved it in. And then like all the PCs were obviously like damaged and imprinted on each other when that happened. But I didn't mind because like they weren't like super high priority or anything. But yeah, I don't even know which photo cards they were. But yeah, some of these have like crazy imprints on them because someone like 
like shoved six into one top loader. Oh my gosh, I totally ran out of nine pockets. So I can't put any of these away, which is fine. I'll just like put them away later. But that's kind of crazy that like all my OT8 stuff kind of fit except for like the IDs and stuff. So I think I'm going to start like filling in the middle with these um, sleeves for now. And I might like put other stuff in there later. But I think for now, I'm just going to like do this and then like figure it out later yeah and then i'm just gonna choose like either black or white depending on like how i feel like what i feel fits better <laughs> oh my gosh i want to ask you guys comment down below which one your favorite set is like out of all of these comment like which one your favorite is or like honestly you can comment like any ota set like what's the ota set that you really want that you don't have i really can't tell if i like this or not like Part of me likes it because it's like really cohesive and you just have to like turn one page to see everything. And then you can also like see the backs, which I really like, which obviously is like the main reason why I like wanted to do this. I feel like I just need to get like used to it. I just need to like get used to having like such a big binder because like I don't know why my arms are like literally getting tired, like moving around this binder. let's just do a really quick flip through what do you guys think do you guys like this new way of storing the ot8 sets part of me likes it but part of me hates like the middle part like i don't think it's too bad when there is something in the middle but when there's nothing i'm like dang that's kind of like sad i don't know but i will admit that it's like a lot nicer to just like flip and not have like the random pages in between and then also like obviously like i can just always get like bigger binders like this and it's not like too difficult yeah i don't know let me know what you guys think um but i'll probably get like a white binder because this binder is like super crusty but yeah for now this is what this looks like hey guys it's actually the next day um and i did some rearranging so i wanted to update you guys i ended up rearranging these to have the white thing like on the end instead of like in the middle just because i felt like it looked kind of weird especially with the ones where i actually had something in the middle and i kind of like how hongjung's up here and hongjung's down here and then i also really like with the 18 e like membership card it's kind of like off to the side and then also on top of that like you guys know how like in my four pocket pages i really like to have the members like face each other and it just so happens that uyoung and jongo like the youngest members have like sides that they prefer and so they always like show those sides and it just like perfectly works out where they're like facing each other and so it was like really satisfying so i was like okay yeah i think i want to do it like this and then also i like rearranged the pages based off of the backs like i thought the green one looked good with this um and then the white with this and then i thought the tan looked really good with these um because it kind of matches the ears and then this is a super colorful back and these are really colorful pcs and then these are more like clean looking pcs so the white back look kind of good and then like the mint kind of look good with these um so yeah that's kind of how i decided to like rearrange like all these pages and stuff but yeah just a quick little update i'm excited to update you guys um when i add like more stuff into this binder and yeah thanks for like joining me and reorganizing my ot8 collection um i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time bye